हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल तो आज स्टूडेंट्स हम चैप्टर नंबर थ्री पढ़ेंगे फ्रॉम द साइंस बुक ऑक्सफोर्ड सेकेंडरी साइंस बाय टेरी जैनिंग्स तो आज इस चैप्टर का नाम मैं एक्सप्लेन करना चाहती हूँ द ह्यूमन ट्रांसपोर्ट सिस्टम स्टूडेंट्स ट्रांसपोर्ट से मुराद है कि बॉडी के अंदर जो है वो ट्रांसपोर्ट से मुराद ये है कि ब्लड के सप्लाई और इसके वेस्ट प्रोडक्ट्स के एक्सक्रीट का सिस्टम तो स्टूडेंट जिस तरह से हमारी बॉडी को ऑक्सीजन की ज़रूरत होती है वी नीड द ऑक्सीजन टू सर्वाइव इन आवर बॉडी तो ब्लड जो है दैट इज़ रिस्पॉन्सिबल टू टेक द ऑक्सीजन जिस तरह हम खाना खाते हैं तो खाने को स्मॉल पार्टिकल्स में जो है वो स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन में जाता है और फिर छोटे पार्टिकल्स में डिवाइड करके ये ब्लड में शामिल होता है और फिर ब्लड में जो है वो ऑक्सीजन शामिल होती है और फिर ब्लड जो हार्ट का काम है कि वो दोबारा जो है वो सारी बॉडी में वो ऑक्सीजन सप्लाई करता है जिसके ज़रिए हम अपनी ज़िंदगी को जो है वो पॉसिबल बनाते हैं सो द सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम या फिर ट्रांसपोर्ट सिस्टम दैट इज़ द सेम सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम से मुलाज है खून के बहाव का मुमकिन होना and uh, the blood is the fluid that flows in our blood vessels and that transport the digested food food from the small intestine to the various part of the body to so, uh, students ab hum padhenge aur saath saath main aapko explain karti jaungi in your body um, is to keep the working properly food oxygen water and heat we need the food students we need the oxygen to survive and we need the water to intake and the heat have to be carried from one place to an other to jis tarah se hum khana khate hain aur is tarah se hum oxygen bhi apni body ke andar apne intake karte hain we take the water to ab in sare jo hai wo food oxygen and water and heat they take a proper place in our body through the blood carbon dioxide and the other waste chemicals have to be carried away from the body to get rid of it to jis tarah se hum intake karte hain in cheezon ko is tarah se kuch cheeze jaise waste product products hain chemicals hain carbon dioxide we have to take out from the body to ye bhi iska bhi ek system hai that is excretory system blood carries these things khoon ye sab kaam karta hai it flows through the blood vessels carrying the different things तो ये ब्लड वेसल्स हैं दीज आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर टेकिंग द ऑक्सीजन इन साइड आवर बॉडी एंड देन अराउंड द बॉडी योर ब्लड सर्कुलेशन डज द सेम जॉब एज द रोड नेटवर्क विद ट्रक ऑन इट तो स्टूडेंट्स इस तरह से एक छोटी सी उन्होंने मिसाल दी है कि ब्लड सर्कुलेशन या खून के बहाव का मुमकिन होना इसी तरह से है या जिस समय खून रवा दवा होना इस तरह से है जिस तरह से एक रोड जो है वो जिस इसके ऊपर कोई ट्रक जो है वो इस तरह से मसलसल चल रहा हो ऑफ कोर्स द ब्लड डज नॉट मूव अराउंड ऑन इट्स ओन तो वो ब्लड जो है वो एक ही जगह पर वो हरकत नहीं करता बट इट गोज टू दल पार्ट्स ऑफ द बॉडी That is where the heart comes. तो जहाँ पे heart है heart is the responsible to take the blood in our vessel uh, through the body. And the heart's job to pump the blood through the various blood vessels. तो जब heart स्टूडेंट्स यू pump होता है तो वो जो pressure मिलता है या वो uh, pump होने से वो पूरे जिसम में खून जो है वो vessels के जरिए रवा दवा होता है अब पल्स क्या होती है लेट सी द पल्स उनके बारे में हम पढ़ेंगे ब्लड एंड द ट्यूब और वेसल्स विच कैरी इट आर द ट्रांसपोर्ट सिस्टम ऑफ द बॉडी तो स्टूडेंट्स पल्स जो है दैट टेक्स एन इम्पोर्टेंट प्लेस तो जिस तरह से हम देखते हैं कि सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम अब किस तरह पॉसिबल हो सकता है किस तरह से ब्लड जो है वो सारे जिसम में खून के बहाव को मुमकिन बनाता है सो वेसल्स एंड पल्स दी दीज आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल टू टेक द ऑक्सीजन इन द होल बॉडी You can feel the blood flowing through our body if you find your pulse. Students, this is uh, the place where you can find the pulse. So, इस तरह से आप pulse को feel भी करते हैं. Here, here in this picture, they have shown कि आप यहाँ पर एक point है. उसको अगर आप थोड़ी देर अपने fingers को रखें, then you can feel कि हमारे जिसम के अंदर खून का जो दबाव रमा दबाव है. And the picture on the next page shows where to find the pulse in the wrist. so so that is the wrist 
have shown and the regular uh, beating of your pulse is called by blood uh, spurting through an artery. So, uh, regular uh, beating of uh, pulse hai, ye blood to javo, uh, arteries ke zariye javo, mumkin hai ke wo, uh, other parts milik. If you are feeling someone else pulse, do not use your thumb uh, that has a pulse on its own. So, you uh, thumb ko nahi use kar sakte, but uh, the fingers you can feel ke, uh, kis tarah se khun ka bahao ho raha hai. There is the other pulses in our body beside one on your wrist. So, ye ek wrist mein yahaan par maujood hai, jis se hum blood ko feel karte hai, but there are so many vessels and uh, uh, pulses are there. They are felt uh, where an artery passes over a bone. So, uh, ye yahaan par maujood hai, jo bone ke upar jo artery hai. If you place your hand over your heart, you can also feel a regular beat. This is not caused by the blood passing through a blood vessels, but by the pumping action of the heart. Agar hum uh, apne heart ke upar rakhe, then uh, we can feel that after some time that it is continuously pumping due to the um, pumping of the heart. So, th this was all about the pulse. Ye humne pulse ke baare mein padha hai. Now, <coughs> the heart is an organ. So, students heart wo organ hai. जो इस सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम का मेन जो है वो करैक्टर है जो के रोल प्ले करता है जो हमारे खून को जो है वो डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ बॉडी में सप्लाई करता है इसमें ऑक्सीजन जो है जो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है जिससे जिस्म को बचाता है और इसके साथ जो है वो फूड जो हम स्मॉल पार्टिकल्स में हम खाते हैं वो ऑक्सीजन की सूरत में फिर जो है दूसरे जिस्म के हिस्से में जाती है थ्रू द ब्लड Oxygen, uh, blood has to move around the body continuously. This is because oxygen has to be taken from the lungs to the cell. So, our system ko student oxygen ki jaabo zaroorat hoti hai. Without oxygen, we cannot survive. So, jo hamare lungs se, hamare papro se oxygen li jaati hai, aur cells me jaabo body cells me provide ki jaati hai. Dissolved food have to be taken from the liver. To the cell. So, जब खाना खाते हैं, तो वो खाना जो है, वो small particles में जो है, वो change होता है. In the small intestine, it has to liver जो है, that is responsible. कि वो dissolved food को जो है, वो cells में convert करता है. और हमारे जिसम को heat की, heat या energy की भी जरूरत होती है. Heat generated by the liver has to be transported. To the cell, so uh, heat, yeah, energy, and yeah, just come get okay, energy to do the work. And the carbon dioxide and the other waste chemical has to be removed from the so These are the functions, four functions they have explained. Okay, our body is oxygen is the vessel we can uh, absorb the oxygen in our body, and uh, we also uh, put the, uh, the energy from the food and the, uh, the carbon dioxide. These are the waste products. The waste chemical have to be removed from the from the cell. A pump is needed to circulate the blood around the body. And when the heart pumps, it means the whole uh, the, uh, blood has been circulated in our body and uh, it is working. This is the job of the heart, and the heart is a muscular pump. Heart has the uh, two chambers. Uh, our picture may dekh sakte hain ki isme uh, there are the upper chambers and the lower chambers. Uh, so they are the two chambers. So let's see what are the functions of these chambers. So a heart is divided into four chambers: two uh, at the top uh, and two at the bottom. Do upper ki side pe hai aur do niche ki side pe hai. So we can see the top chambers are smaller than the uh, bottom chambers. So, ye aap dekh sakte hai ke top chambers, these are smaller than the uh, lower chambers, known as uh, atria, these are the, this uh, one kate te, chote, uh, uh, singular atrium kate te. The two bottom chambers are called ventricles, in uh, bottom chambers from ventricles kate te. So, uh, these are uh, responsible for the flow of the blood in our body. The atria are separated from each other by the muscular rain. Here we can see that these are the two atria, uh, but they are separated from the muscular veins. Uh, the two muscular veins available in the heart. 
the two ventricles are also separated from each by the muscular wall. The atria are connected to the ventricles by walls and the blood vessels called veins uh, uh, carry the blood to the, uh, to the atria. So, this may, uh, blood vessels we have seen that this may be small blood vessels blood vessels called arteries carry blood away from uh, the two uh, ventricles. So, in this way, we can underline bhi kar sakte hai, aur in ko hum, uh, bhi kar sakte hai, what are the veins, what are the arteries, uh, so okay, it is helpful for you. So, today we have read about the circulatory system. First, you have to understand the circulatory system. How do you define the circulatory system and then uh, what is the function of the heart and how the heart uh, plays a function uh, in our body to circulate the bl uh, blood in our whole body. So, I have made some questions. So, I would like to share with you. Uh, the human transport system lesson number 3. What is circulatory system? It is a blood circulation system in our body. Circulatory system transport blood and waste product around the body. How the platelets help the body? Platelets help the blood to clot and uh, the stop bleeding. And question number 3, how blood return to the body? Blood return to the heart in veins. How many chambers of heart are there? There are two chambers of heart are there. Upper chamber atria and lower chamber called ventricles. So, as I have already explained about the two chambers. And uh, what is needed to circulate the blood? The circulatory system needed heart, veins, and the capillaries. So, the uh, circulatory system may jaha ye jaha wo hume part lete hain organ jaise heart has arteries, veins, and capillaries in the whole body. They take the oxygen uh, to the whole part of the uh, body. What does the hemoglobin do in our body? Uh, our red cell contain hemoglobin uh, which carries oxygen to the body. So, this hemoglobin ka kaam hai, uh, oxygen which we provide. Karna. How much blood is there in an adult human body? The amount of blood in our body depends upon the size of the, size of the body. An adult will have approximately 1.2 to 1.5 gallons or you can say the 10 units of blood in their body body. So, this is the 10 units uh, adult person can carry the blood in his body. So, that will be the sufficient for his survival. So, uh, students this is the amount of blood uh, that adult can carry. So, uh, th uh, these were the possible questions I have made uh, regarding this topic and next time uh, we will read about the movement of the blood in our heart and the blood circulation system. So, uh, thanks a lot or take care bye bye.